And let me just say this, as Steve and I are out here together, we've both been vaccinated, so we just want to keep your fears at bay on that one. But Marielle, can you tell us what you've been seeing down there? I've heard that hardly anyone's wearing a mask. Yeah, uh, I can probably agree with that. I want to just, if you kind of look behind me right now, you can kind of straight see down into the door and see where the crowd is. Um, and it's actually not even as crowded as it was earlier today. Now, a lot of the crowds, they tend to gather around the outside of the bars, uh, or if there's a long line coming out of the bar, that starts to make these crowds and people form around them. And see, the problem is if you are carrying a drink and you're allowed to be drinking uh, and you're actively drinking, you're, you're going to have your mask down. So that is why you see so many people not wearing their masks. And of course, the crowd, it just happens when you tell people that they can come out here and be outside. Now, I have talked to some of the bar owners about this, and they just say, Hey, we're following the rules inside. Once you get outside, though, it's your own personal responsibility to be wearing your mask and social distance. And there's plenty of room to social distance. You don't have to stay in this one block area. There is uh, several blocks you can spread out. People just are choosing not to do that. Now, you know, the owners here, they are thankful to have this up and running because inside, as I mentioned, there are still those COVID restrictions. So everyone has to have a seat. They can't pack people in as they normally would do. So having the door, it does allow them to still do business uh, and really to start coming out of this and being on the other side of the pandemic. We know it's been a tough year for them over the last year. So today, you know, it's not only a big deal for those bar owners, it's also just a big deal for the fans that are able to come out here and take part in this. I can't believe how excited I am and that I, I, I've waited two years for this. I've waited two years for this to come again. And I said, I might cry during the national anthem because I'm so happy to be here. And Kim, she told me that she is late for everything, but the one thing she is not late for is opening day. She got here around 11 a.m. to be out here in the door. That's about when I got down here, too. That was before it was a little uh, crowded down here. And, you know, she can feel the excitement. I can feel the excitement. And she was telling me she is taking a bet that the Reds are going to win the division, so it's my first opening day. I'm just going to have to join her in that bet and that excitement, too, uh, and, and say that's where I'm feeling, that we're going to make it and uh, win the division here. So I'm going to send it back for now, though. Live down here at the Banks, I'm Arielle Carbone, WCPO 9 News.